So with the NVIDIA RTX 50 series coming out soon, what GPU do you buy now if you had to buy a GPU? Obviously, some people will say, and rightfully so, you should just wait. Don't buy anything now. It's better to wait a few months. We think RTX 50 series is going to be announced at CES 2025. So that's in January. So that's only a few short months away. We don't know when they're going to release it. Probably within a month after. Usually they'll stagger the release, like maybe 50, 90 first. 5080, 5070, etc. So you have a little bit of time, you know, now we're going into November, roughly about two months, three months maybe before we can get your hands on a GPU. But what if you need something now? What if you're playing a game and your GPU is just not cutting it and you can't wait that long? Well, I'm going to go over some that are going to be less risky to buy that maybe might retain their value a little bit better. Let's start at the top. 4090, what do you do with this GPU? Obviously, the 5090 is going to probably just blow it out of the water. 32 gigabytes of VRAM, they're saying. It's going to be a crazy fast GPU, maybe like 50 to 70% faster. No doubt, that's going to drop the price of the 4090 from, let's say if you buy it new now, there's still like $1,800 on average in the U.S., even more in other places. So obviously, sometimes they're going to be over 2000 So you're going to get a lot of depreciation because when you get a big 5090, that's going to drop the price of the 4090 probably to, you know, 1200, 1100, close to a thousand. It's what we saw with the 3090 and 3090 Ti. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You want to go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video. Now, there is something that could change this, you know, 4090 is a little bit of a weird GPU because it's also used a lot for like machine learning and AI and things like that. If that demand keeps up, then it's possible it doesn't matter about a new 5090 for gamers because people are going to be buying the 4090 regardless of if there's a new GPU or not. And that's going to make the pricing stay high, etc. So that's definitely a caveat to keep in mind of the 4090. It could go either way, but most likely it'll go down in value. And it's not necessarily the safest GPU to buy at this point. It's still the best. But over a 4080 Super, for example, which you can find pretty easily for, you know, $1,000 and under now, even the MSRP of a new one, I think that GPU just makes more sense as a gaming GPU. It's going to have pretty good performance, still very good performance, not quite like a 4090, but it's not going to go down nearly as much as a 4090. You're going to have a you know, softer depreciation curve, if you will. And remember, that GPU just came out earlier this year in January, so it's going to be only about a year old. So that one, I would say for NVIDIA, if you want the best high-end experience at this point in the game and you want to also have a little bit of value baked into that the 4080 super i think is still probably a good idea and obviously you do have amd with the 7900 xtx that one can sometimes beat a 4080 super especially rasterization not necessarily in ray tracing or you know obviously nvidia has dlss compared to amd's fsr but the 7900 xtx I, you know i used one for quite some time as well it's it's a good gpu it's not bad at all you get tons of performance and the pricing is a lot more aggressive on that GPU now than it was before. $999 MSRP, I would still take the 4080 Super, but if you're talking about like an $800 to $900 7900 XTX, then that seems like a pretty decent deal. And I still prefer the 4080 Super over the 4070 Ti Super, for example, because for $200, you're getting a 4080 Super, which is going to be faster. It's the same amount of VRAM, you know, 16 gigabytes on both now after they upgraded the 4070 Ti, but it's just going to be a little bit faster. For that $200 difference, I think it's certainly worth it. It's not as big of a delta as going to the 4090, for example, which could be like an eight or $900 difference. So up to that point, it makes sense. But if your budget is really constrained, I still prefer the 4070 Ti Super over the 4070 Super, just because 16 gigabytes of VRAM compared to 12, that's going to be better for some future proofing, 4K games, you know, high textures, uh, ray tracing. So I certainly prefer the 4070 Ti Super if you're going to be going cheaper and you really don't want to go up to a 4080 Super. Obviously, AMD then starts to get some murky offerings around this point, the 7900 XT. 
depending on the price, people used to like it over the 4070 Ti when it was priced well. But if it's too close to a 4070 Ti Super, I still rather get the Nvidia one. But depending on the price, that one could be pretty interesting as well. 4070 Super, it's kind of like by itself. If your price range is 600 bucks, that's probably your best bet. It's only when you get to the original 4070 that the 7800 XT becomes a factor. If you can get that for well under $500, then it becomes a little bit more attractive sometimes unless you want the specific NVIDIA features on those GPUs. And then aside from that, you have your, you know, your 4060 Ti and your 4060. Those are likely going to take a much longer time to get upgraded because NVIDIA is going to start with the high-end stuff. So those are really going to be budget dependent. If you really can't stretch to a 4070, then something like that will definitely do the trick if that is what falls in your budget. But certainly I would avoid the very high-end like the 4090. I think that's going to take the biggest drop. The 4080 Super, I think it could still be a decent GPU considering who knows what the price is going to be of the 5080 and the 5090. What if a 5080 comes in way over the price of a 4080 Super, then that GPU might make sense. It might be close in performance to like a 5070 or something like that. So that's still going to be a very good GPU for quite some time. And the $999 price point, I liked it when Nvidia dropped the price and I still kind of like that price now. I mean, it is a 4080 Super, so you can't, Nvidia is not going to drop it that much more but when a 5080 super comes out then that price is certainly going to drop now obviously to conclude it's probably better to wait a few months but some people just can't wait you might just need a decent gpu to play your games now and i think the closer you get to the middle of the gpu in terms of performance and pricing the less of a price you know, uh, reduction you're going to face. 4090, you're going to probably lose a lot unless something weird happens with AI. And then when you get to the middle, like a 4070, 4070 Super, I don't think those are going to depreciate any, you know, anywhere near some of the higher end GPUs. And the 4080 Super, I think it'll stay relevant for quite some time. The AMD GPUs, I don't know what's going to happen with those because AMD is not really focusing too much on the higher end next generation, according to what they said. They're going to be focusing more on that mid-range, stuff like the 7800 XT. So hard to say if the value of AMD GPUs will stay high over time like NVIDIA typically does. All right, guys, so let me know what you think. Are you looking to buy a new GPU? Are you going to wait or what would you buy now? And I'll see you guys on the next video.